Chris. What a nice crowd. Raining outside. We're all sharing our stories. A great intro. So uh, I was talking to Court. I went to this ecfractic poetry workshop at CSU Museum over there with a with a poet and kind of stretched me a little bit. So we walked around the uh, the museum and saw two pieces of art that I was writing about. Um, and one was centered around the exhibit right now. It's like East meets West and power and uh, colonialism and imperialism. Um, and portraits of that time in the late 19, uh, early 1900s and late 1800s. So the, uh, the portrait that I wrote a lot about was called His Highness Pacapowono 10th of uh, the first rank and ruler of Java, 1928, by Hubert Julian Stowitz, an American artist. And this person, um, Java's in Indonesia, near the Philippines, where my parents came from. So uh, it was a really powerful image. So it's called, and then it was, another, I mixed this portrait with another uh, by Bren, uh, it's called Grid Variation. Um, this is kind of aluminum kind of structure, so, and it goes like this. This is the poem called Houses. Four by fours build houses of many shapes and sizes, a wave of modernization, sizes and shapes tradition. Once a man of the land, he trades in tending to the fire for the tugs of desire. Tilted roofs replace thatched houses, varying slopes angulate perspectives, doorways to differentiate appetites and ideals. Loosen up your garments, lavish in the new. Foods foreign to your belly now guide your sight. A struggle of status, separateness of man-made symbols and might. Distinguished stern shoulders and sharpened nails, enamored with the armor of civility. A feigned face, composed by the meanness of means, for the arrival may turn into survival and a departure of what is foundational. For rags to riches, riches to rust, do not let conquest tarnish your heart. As the roots are the cornerstones, an ancestral stoop burning stupor into splendor. Thank you.